Okay, so this is really exciting now. So we have our first content type, which is called film. Let me click on the content manager on the left and notice I both have film and user appearing here. And of course, what we want to do is add a new film. Now I could do that by clicking on this button or on this button on top. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to just hit this one and we're going to create our first entry. I'm going to call this Star Wars released. Doesn't really matter. Probably 19, what, 75 ish. I'm just going to go with that and we're going to say George Lucas. Okay. And I'm not going to populate the plot and we're definitely not going to touch the slug because this is something that we will automatically populate later on. Now do notice that if I hit save, I basically saved a draft. And that is because remember in a previous video, we said, do we want to enable the draft publish system? And we said, yes. So that's why it's not enough to just save something, but we also need to go and hit publish. Should we want this data to be made available? Now do notice I have a bunch of options here. I could go back and edit the model itself. So I could go back and edit the film model, but I can also configure the view. So configuring the view means that I can basically rearrange these fields. So maybe I don't want the released date to appear next to title. So I can click configure the view. And I'm going to say, I want the director to appear there and I want to release and plot next to each other like so. Now, if I hit save and if I go back to my content manager, if I want to add a new entry, now title and director appear next to each other. So this is great. Also notice that if I'm listing the films, I have a bunch of options in here. I can search for something. I can also filter for certain fields, right? So I could say where the director is and I can say, you know, George Lucas. So this is now going to, I need to type that in properly. So let's do that again. So director is George Lucas. So now of course I get this single entry that I have. I can also order these by either the ID, the title, and then I can sort this ascending or descending. And last but not least, I can also configure this whole view, whether I want search enabled. So maybe I don't want search for this particular view. So I'm going to hit confirm. And if I go back here, notice that the search is now gone. Okay, so this is this is really great. Um, I can also configure the view so I can say I want I don't maybe I don't want to see the ID. I just want to see the title, the release, and the director. So I'm going to hit save and now that table is updated. So I see title, released, uh, director, and then the state. Okay, I can copy entries or duplicate entries. I can delete those and I can edit them as well. Let's go and edit this and hit publish. So now I have added one piece of content. But the question is, how can I expose this content? So we're going to take a look at that in the next video.